This week I told you that in late May Sony will have a new product announcement. They will announce uh, like a new ZV-1 uh, fixed lens compact camera successor. And uh, after that, soon after that in June we will get like new lenses and in early July or even before that a new high-end APS-C E-mount camera. And sorry I forgot about that, even a new kind of video E-mount camera. So it's going to be very busy with Sony and you have to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button if you don't want to miss any of of the exclusive rumor we share on this channel. But today I want to talk about another teaser Sony launched yesterday. It's a teaser for a new Xperia 1 phone that will be announced on May the 11th. Uh, it's rumored that this will be the Xperia 1 uh, 5 uh, with triple uh, camera sensor and this is a very uh, photographic focused um, camera and uh, so it's not directly related to E-mount but there may be one uh, new aspect that could be interesting in the future for the E-mount cameras I will tell you soon about this but first let's start with showing the image of how this uh, smartphone is likely to look I don't know if this is a legit image but these images are going around the web and there are also some info about the spec it will use a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 generation 2 chipset and it's also expected to use a triple camera setup with a 12 megapixel 12 me megapixel periscope and a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Sony is uh, teasing the launch with the following text next gen sensor next gen imaging next one is coming and here comes the interesting part for us it's rumored that it will use a new dual layer sensor is made for smartphones but it's a very innovative sensor and I'm wondering if that sensor will be absolutely scale to APS-C and full frame format. This would be very interesting for me to see if that is going to happen. So if you like me are interested to see uh, what the quality will be of those uh, pictures taken with the new Xperia 1.5, uh, you should uh, follow Sony of Rumors on May 11th. Uh, we'll cover that announcement. I will analyze the image quality given by that smartphone. This is it for today. There will be a new video in a couple of hours about another info I got from a trusted source. So stay tuned and I see you.